Hello, this is Sherry from WebSocialMarketing.com and today we are going to create a Blogger blog. <clears throat> Blogger is a free blogging tool owned by Google. So you got to think that that's probably a great place to start as far as getting search engine rankings for your blog. Now, I would uh, definitely tell you that if you're going to do a hosted blog to go with um, WordPress, but this is a great free place to start. So if you don't already have a Google username for such for some things such as Gmail or Google tool, Google Webmaster Tools or something like that, you're going to create a new one. So let's go to create your blog now. Now it's already putting mine in because I have a I already have an account so And you want to enter a password. And your display name. Then you do this a thing, accept the terms of service, and continue. Then you want to title your blog. Now here I suggest that you would have already gone and done some keyword research. And you can put in a title that has some sort of keyword in for whatever it is you're going to be talking about in your blog. If you if you are going to be talking about a lot of different things, maybe you can even use your name or something like that. That's the same address as my as my website. So that couldn't hurt for the keywords. Now this advanced is if you're going to host it somewhere else. And as I said, if you're going to do that, go with WordPress. So continue. And for the sake of shortness of this video, I'm just going to click on any template. But choose one that you like. Now you can start posting. But Okay. Right here, I'm going to put a link to my website. That's what you want to be doing every time you post if you can. 
Now, what you want to do though is you want to make sure that try to use deep linking. What that means is here, instead of linking to my home page, I'm going to link to another page in my website. Now I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. What you'd want to do is with each post, you want to link to a different page in your website that's relevant. So say I was talking about video marketing in this post, I would link to that page that talks about video marketing on my, on my website. And uh, you know, with each post you can talk about something different. The more times that, that you link to other pages other than your home, see the thing is, as far as page rank is concerned, each of your pages has a different page rank. So let's say you have 130 <clears throat> links back to your home page. Well, that doesn't mean you have 130 links back to your video marketing page or whatever other page. That just means that your home page has a high amount, a higher amount of of uh, backlinks and therefore a higher page rank. I just use that number as a whatever, you know, as a as an example, but um the, the point is you want to get as many links back to each page of your site as possible. So with each post, think about how you can use relevant keywords to link back to other pages besides your home page. Okay, and then you want to use tags, which are just keywords. And you want to put in as many as possible. I'm going to, I mean, I'm not going to publish this. This is just for demonstration purposes. So, uh, but I'm going to use this uh, for the next uh, video in which we're going to show some of the settings and, and that you need to have on your blog and also how to create a feed. So. Uh, that's it for this video, and uh, in the meantime, why don't you go create a blog, because really, at this time in internet history, um, you, you need a blog. There is no reason for anyone to not have one. They're, they're free if you, you know, if you want to go that route, and, you know, they're very easy, and best of all, it's each time you post, you can have a potential link back to pages of your website, so go get your blog created.